this year. The other thing, on a more global scale, is hustle. If you're sitting in the crowd right now and you don't love what you do, if you're sitting in Israel right now, beautiful Israel, sitting there right now, and you don't love what you do 100%, you need to quit. Now, you need to quit after you can afford to. So I always talk about stop watching fucking Lost. And what that means is, what that means to me is this. If you're not happy, you need to start talking and building businesses around what makes you passionate. So work your nine to five, nine to six, and then go out and absolutely fundamentally start something of your own that you like. Start doing business around the niche and the subject matter that you enjoy because we live this life one time and if you don't do what you're happy about, you're making a fundamental mistake. We all work way too hard. You're at a conference right now, you're hardcore, you're hustling, you're working too hard and if you don't like it or the people around it, you need to get out of there once you can afford to. So no quitting your jobs, but start positioning yourself to be happy. Start creating your own thing after hours. 7 p.m. to 2 in the morning. 9 p.m. to 2 in the morning if you have kids. You know, whatever. But stop playing video games and stop downloading iPhone apps and stop reading 900 RSS reading tools and start pumping out shit. Shit that you're passionate about. Shit that you want your legacy to be about. Remember, everything we do today is being recorded, documented, put in our Wikipedias, all over the web. Your legacy. So you're making a quick buck, but it's not the right way, your grandkids are gonna know that. I want you to give that massive thought because legacy is greater than currency and the quicker you understand that and wrap your head around it, the better off you're gonna be. Let's talk about a couple other things. Up and coming things. Tumblr, I think is a fascinating platform. YouTube, I think has much more potential now with the iPhone Play. It's gonna be staggering how much video goes on YouTube. You know. Platforms where if you're not using a Ping FM or Tube Mogul or a TweetDeck or things that are people browser, things that really help you scale your time because at the end of the day, every business is still run, no matter how scalable it is, by a couple innovators, a couple leaders, and it's important for you to position yourself to be as scalable as possible as a human. What social media tools do is allow you to scale as a personal brand, to scale your caring, as I said recently. I love the fact that I can go out there now and care more by searching people that are talking about things that I'm passionate about and engaging with them, and it's underrated. Way too many people, way too many people think they're too cool for fucking school because they've got a lot of followers and they don't want to interact with anybody anymore or they only want to interact with a certain class of people. It's hilarious, it makes me vomit, it makes me laugh, and I really hope we can get out of this culture that has kind of bled into our society a little bit here, our little bubble of how many followers you have defining how important you are. It's silly, it's ludicrous, and it needs to stop a little bit. Other things I want to talk about is this. Branding on a national and global scale. I think way too many people are not biz deving. The lack of partnerships amongst tier six, seven, eight, nine, I'm not talking Google and Twitter, because those are buyouts. You know, I'm talking about partnerships. So many of you guys out there and gals have properties that have nice traffic and there's so many natural partners in crime that you could team up with. For me, it would be a top food blog, you know, things of that nature. You know, now that I'm refocusing on corked.com, C-O-R-K-D.com, my wine social network, I'm gonna be looking for a lot of content partners and different teammates out there. So to me, the lack of biz dev in our space globally is staggering. I think in comparison to other industries, there's too many people that have nice properties that are not looking to team up with two or three other people and allowing each of you to raise all of you up. I think that's a huge mistake, a huge problem, and uh, I think it's a massive opportunity. One that really saddens me that is not being addressed, but also makes me very happy because I'm focusing on them, I'm making them happen, and, and it leaves more for the people with the hustle and biz dev. Give biz dev a big thought. I think it's a massive opportunity. Finally, this is usually when I, you know, I just kind of do my thing and I'm really about Q&A. It's funny, at this point, I think a lot of you know my spiel. It's all about passion. Do what you love, do it every day, and you can build a business, period, end of story. In today's world, zero cost, sweat equity, dominates the day, be the best in your space, care, get out there, PR, brand it, get it out there, find people to talk about it, and you can do it. What, what 
what I love to do is do Q&A at this point, but I don't have that opportunity this time around. But I promise you eventually we'll make that happen. I can't wait to be out there and talk to you guys. But if you have any questions, if you're sitting there now in the crowd, please at Gary V me with a question mark. I'll, I'll try to focus and answer some of them. Uh, more importantly, you're free and capable of emailing me at Gary, G-A-R-Y, at VaynerMedia, V-A-Y-N-E-R, media.com if you have any biz questions. Uh, I wish you all the best. I hate that I didn't get the energy from the crowd today because that's what I really feed off of. But you like the energy? Oh, Mott, oh, Mott the camera guy got upset. You're only one person, dude. Um, More importantly, understand this one thing, and I think a lot of you do, but I'm not sure if everybody's totally grasped around this. Things are changing on such a major level. The brands are being redefined in every space and this pie is big and it's delicious and I really want you to get your slice. Eat the fucking pie.